Hola. Buenas tardes. Vamos a ver la cena, la cena, la cena. A ver, hola. Hola, 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 hola. hola. En esa cena estamos, estamos, estamos. Aquí. Me he puesto ahora. Uh, qué manco de los hoy, qué feo. O sea, qué feo me refiero a los padres, lo yo hice un máquina. Ya, párate, párate, párate. Primero eso que ahora que me ve, me quito su mierda. Hostia, te vas, tengo todavía gusto para comprar la pata. Ahí para que se ha puesto la partida de otro día, que yo quiero empezar la partida, yo no quiero empezar la partida, yo quiero cargar, yo quiero empezar uno nuevo. Uy, esto es un cosa de plano, así como raro. Plano, plano. Abre aquí, abre aquí, abre aquí el plano. Ahí está muy bien, esta vez yo le pongo uno aquí ahí. Está muy bien, ¿no? Yo pongo aquí a Hinkona, que me encanta un trito aquí, un trito y me queda que. Y ya me da fe. Me perfecto, ¿no? Me vi un trito y me da un trito y me da otro cacho de agua. ¿no? Este lo estaba buscando era. Me mojo el culo, esta cosa es más. Me mojo yo. Me quedo triste. Mi historia. Nueva. Sí. Esta es la cosa. Creo que es muy buen difícil. Porque lo único que cambia en este juego, porque este juego los personajes, como los enemigos son personas normales y corrientes, mueren de un tiro en la cabeza, o de un par de tiros en el pecho, o lo que sea. Pero la única diferencia entre el fácil, el medio y el difícil es esto. Es que el fácil y el medio tienen más pastillas y tienen más curas. Tienen más recompensas de salud y tal. Y tienes el bullet time, que es lo de disparar lentito, mmm, con más fácil, ¿no? Con más disponible. Y que la puntería es asistida, es medio fácil, pero como estoy con el ratón, eso no me influye, porque me da igual, porque yo tengo un aim de máquina. Y luego lo de bullet time y tal, la salud, sí, a lo mejor viene tal, a lo mejor hay misiones en las que me voy a morir tres veces en vez de una. Pero yo creo que este juego lo conozco lo suficiente, lo juego un par de veces, me siento como con él. Yo creo que me voy a jugar a juego difícil. Creo que va a ser la primera vez que juegue a un juego difícil en directo. Me puedo arrepentir. Pero como he visto que se puede cambiar en cualquier momento, vamos para adelante. Y ya está. Agua. This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Este hombre antes era policía. Era el conductor que os falta. Y que su familia, si no me equivoco, su familia ha muerto. Yo es que más pingo uno que apunta no he jugado. Pero me estamos a ver la historia. Me stream, ¿por qué? No, como te he dicho, fue hace un tiempo. Por lo de un difícil. Let it go, seriously. Te digo, poco se habla de que llevo. Todo el año, desde que me pasé en el ring, estoy jugando único y exclusivamente juegos de Rockstar. Solo jugado juegos de Rockstar desde que me pasé en el ring. Estoy enfermo. Definitely more my style than Panama. Or Hoboken, I guess. No. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. 
Claro, tengo que mirar la, la interfaz. Para dónde pongo la cámara. Excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, sí, what have I got to lose? Yo he Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is the fake life. 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 que él se culpaba de la muerte de su familia pero creo que él tenía algo que ver creo que era que como era la policía un plan típico de mafia así como que fueron a por su familia y mataron a su familia por su culpa creo me quiere sonar algo de eso me quiere sonar algo de ese estilo por lo que están atormentados el colega y en vez de la terapia, en vez de la terapia, pero el trono pues se mete a. Se mete a. Parda, parda. Y es pegatino. Basically. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be: a killer. Some renaclown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. <laughs> Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. <laughs> you buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Holy. So, I'm going to see. You thought they were I arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. <laughs> Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle down economics. <laughs> That's funny. Me encanta eso de dar las frases. Thing. Drink and las give frases. money. I don't know. Something Como si fuera un comedor, amigo. Hay hey, cosas que te resaltan y te la like ponen en grande. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. 
big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Marcel. Guess that's what a I European to education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> very <laughs> funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now they're too late to get the wheel. Clear. No recuerdo que las cinemáticas recortaban por los otros lados. Got this floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila. 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 Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Hey, you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. Tranquilo, tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. I had to keep moving. It 
looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. Just stay right Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas! Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado! Vamos! Mata a mãe, sangue frio, hein? Não policia? Bom, militar, hein? Chama uma ambulância! Me ajuda! Time to fuck! You did good, Max! You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. A different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. <laughs> Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. Enganchadísimo a las pastillas y el alcohol. Enganchadísimo. Ah, la etiqueta del whisky pone con. Que es King Kong, ¿no? Para hacer un mono, tal. Creo que esa es... Aparte del Freddy de 2020 King Kong. La primera referencia es esta, en plan, en el GTA V. O, o en el... No sé si en el GTA V o si en el, en el anual. And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. Esta marca de whisky sale más jugo de roto. Me suena un montón. Reventado. A couple of days later, it was back to work. 
ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! <laughs> Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Saúde! Saúde! Fica tranquilo! Vambora, vambora, vambora! Vai lá, vai lá! Vai lá, vai lá! Vai lá, vai lá! Vai Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Max, man, I love man. you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I, think, I think I love a wrong woman. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Volume. 
Fabio! ¡Ah, ah mi ¡Ha dicho Bayern, güey! ¡Ha dicho mi... Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Están un tiroteo, está en un plan, está pegado un tiro contra otra persona. Está en tu grupo de, de reventado, pegado un tiro contra una sola persona. Y veis que ese tío empieza a pegar saltos. Plan, un tío de no sé, cuarenta y pocos años. No en muy buena forma. Pegando saltos para adelante y para atrás. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private egg. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the him. girls. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. We can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. It was a 
another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one. Ah, don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight in a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Este es básicamente tú, pero bueno, pero siendo... It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. <laughs> at least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Oh, I said. Come on, come on. Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. What the hell happened in there? They jumped us. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, but were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oh, there they are. Come on up! 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 Come on up!
Stay on! Don't worry, I see her! Fool, huh? Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. <laughs> Isso está ficando vergonhoso. Ela não vale a pena. E ela vai tomar aquele quebrado. E aqui, o Serrano vai cortar nosso saco se ela escapar.
Tenth, yeah. Tenth, yeah. Tenth, yeah. The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. Maybe that's why we got along. <laughs> Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Oh! What are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. Hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? <laughs> My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. <laughs> Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. It's probably that street gang trying to get a I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business now. What have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Hostia, que cerca por lo guapo. Yo recordaba esto como algo más posterior. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Apparently. 
Apparently someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's gotta be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. God damn it! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max! <sighs> the guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. <sighs> so this was it. My <laughs> easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go! <sighs> Hold on! Wait here a second! All the fun. <coughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no job. idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. <laughs> Great. That's it. How about it? So what now, Einstein? Can we have the sangre? I guess we get these commando sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. The 
people of Sao Paulo lived and died this game. That day more than the Você está em uma festa glamourosa e opa! Tem uma mancha vermelha na sua camisa. Felizmente existe Dissolve. Coloque Dissolve na máquina de lavar e apague os pecados de ontem. Dissolve. Como se nunca tivesse acontecido. This is INC. Ela só volta. What am I, the button pusher? Yeah. <laughs> You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Uh, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? Here. Do you have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Mas... Não estão pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Ai! Isso! Ai! Quem você nos enganar? Trouxemos o dinheiro! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Não enganamos ninguém! Eu não sei! He doesn't know what the snipers are. No shit. Now, meet the Brahmin. Como eles salvaram disso? Não sei mais do que isso, homem. Precisa de um médico. Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? I think he's dead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Heads up! Here come his friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'll cover you. It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians would be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. <laughs> sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. In there, in there. What do we do? Ah, vou lá, aqui, por aqui. Essa porta aqui, fecha essa porta de pressa. Ah, pariu! Ah, vem para aí, não me deixa aqui sozinho! Ah, ah, o que, seu viado do caralho? Cadê a porra do dinheiro? Ah, ah, Arranca uma bala na sua cabeça, filha da puta! Hein? Hein, morre, tô velado, filha da puta! Vocês devem ter ido por aqui. Vamos abrir a porra. 
They seem nice enough. Were they cops? I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! Vamos lá, vamos lá, Raul. Last rights, don't you think? Look at this flatjack. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. Wait. I might have written the book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it. <laughs> I didn't give a damn about the money, but I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Yes. about the money, but I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Yes. I didn't give a damn about the money, but I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Yes. I didn't give a damn about the money, but I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Yes. Ah! 
didn't give a damn about the money, but I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Claro que, o sea, realmente uno tiene un complicado. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. That guy was getting annoying. What the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. <laughs> Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Keep your headset on. Look, I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say.
yeah, we'll try. All right, right, I'm inside. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, hein? E a menina, alguma alpinista social, hein? Casada com algum cara aqui, hein? Ele tá aqui! Ah! Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
are still in danger. Claudio, your golden boy. You sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I guess I'm nowhere nice. Sound of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. In the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. Still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Pasos? Shh, shh, shh. There's a whole gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. Can I get a run for it? All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. I see him. at a time.
Cool. No chão, filha da puta! Agora! Clear, Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. God damn it, Max. Shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. <laughs> Son 11 y medio de los 8 minutos, 3 y 5 para Goku. Eso. Qué puto asco la temperatura de Goku. Y cuatro más son 11 y medio de los 8. This place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. But Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for hire, ex-cops military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. <laughs> Jesus, they shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldier. gonna drag this out. Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. This is a bad idea. Man, 
rápido y no lo notas apenas porque... qué locura qué locura qué locura I got the best I know you know how to make an entrance bro now let's get the hell out of here Sure, trouble finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. Oh, hey. the women. I need to get laid, Put the baby. music on. Yeah. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony. His dad was some well-known hood drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Now let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out man, here. old man. It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old Jeez, man. Very it up. fucking it up. funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? <laughs> or how you got involved okay. with killers. Oh, I, I, I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, don't disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Hey, you, don't take that from this punk tone. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him. But I might start any time. Now say you're sorry. Fucking say you're sorry. Has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop cut. Don't act clever. I will blow your look brains look all, all over this Fuck counter, this every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Marty. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before one of you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm fuck off. Get you, you We're coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I got to it. Yeah? Stay I'm right back. here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember, remember me? me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, oh, that's great. Travel, see the world. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, 
Why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great me. set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúde. Cheers. What, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something? What a fool. Saúde! Saúde! Cheers! Get in you faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Hmm? Oh, shit. Ain't gonna make
make this easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for <laughs> noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. Hmm? You're the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, you know? start over. You've mourned enough. Nah. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Oh, you're not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? <laughs> it always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! I fucking swear! I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Look at the Come to me, you sinners, oh, you so evil so men. Good. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. 
the apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I would have sat down and let it burn right there. felt strange to be at the center of it again, the target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. All right, guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! You need some help there, brother? I needed help five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here.
There were wrecks all around. And not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. And they're always one step ahead! They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. Viene el video, video. Me queda nada, me queda nada.
¿Vale? Ya estamos aquí. <coughs> ya me voy. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. Show the blood so much. How's this look? Ah, 
aparecido de la nada y ni siquiera lo llegó a ver. Dead end. But you knew your way around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? Job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiente River, looking for what we did not know. Max, tell me, you're listening? Max, so like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Somebody told them we were going to be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. Just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know, there's a harbor about a half a mile up. She's got to be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, <coughs> we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your <laughs> sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Glide in. Don't go anywhere.
El silencio otra vez. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. <laughs> Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. <laughs> I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oi, Dani, você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro? I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo.
I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. 
but I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. I was in a cocaine factory, but I'd stick to the depressants. It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Eh, coño, el botón está aquí. I open the door to the next circle of this low rent hell. Dejarlo por ahí, por lo que
Rocheado, cabrón. Rocheado, como me ha rocheado. Dios de puta, como me ha hecho eso. Hostia, no, no, no. Hostia, vaya de llama. Corre, Ay, el pelocho, vamos a ver. Bueno. Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. I had to keep on going across the docks. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
Maldito la cara.
Bills. Eh? Como que estamos en el suelo, venga ya. Venga ya. Confident jump of going into the jungle alone. Shit, more company! How's she look, man? My gun is beat up, broke a lot. I don't know what to say. Oh, no, fuck off! Jesus Christ! Behind us, 
Passos. You see it? idea. Hold on. Get a load of this. And they know all about it. Go 
through the different campaign. They got an armada out here! Fast, assholes! Okay, 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 okay. Espero que se guarde el punto de control porque si no me quedo con todo lo muerto del juego. Si no se guarda el punto de control y tengo que hacer la misión entera. Uy. Uy. Me está tratando de vender al principio. Me voy a acabar. Shit. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. <sighs> Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Max, wake up, Max. Hmm. Come on, 
Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not <laughs> in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Una <laughs> un Oh, okay. give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for her. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better for all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker, senor, let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senhor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senhor Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. When I talk to the only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação pro senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. What is going to sound? Oh, Deus. Si, sí, puede entrar. Senor, tenemos un problema. O sistema de segurança fue desactivado. I can see that. Got a man entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. There's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, both of you. <gasps>
Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What the hell? Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. This way! Stick by me! The server room is just past those cubicles. La cara de Pipo que tiene mucho por ahí. Pipo que se genera en el formato que te sale. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Era el logro de los que me voy a dejar de tener a los brazos. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good, come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten mm -hmm. used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance.
gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. Will you know the The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Well. Okay, come on, get to me. I'm gonna play for you. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! <laughs> there it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Sunday at the office. No one else would need these. Graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
pillon, eh? Hey! It looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me part? back up to Rodrigo's office where sí, we could tiro... wait the rest of it out. A locos. Bueno. O sea, pegando tiros y comiendo pastillones, lo que estoy haciendo yo aquí hoy. Celebrando la noche de viernes, como cualquier persona de bien. Pegando tiros e hincando la pastilla. Sal de wey. Sal de wey. De papi. ¿Qué dice la papi? I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Señor Branco, Señor Branco, I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Yo ya tinté. Señor Branco, open up. Señor Branco, open up. I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Yo no me acuerdo de esto, creí que solo vivía. Yo no me acuerdo de que esto lo mataba. Ay, me estoy escuchando. Eso es lo que estaba escuchando, que tenía puesto audio en el móvil y me está escuchando. Of course, he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. Tiro el muco de más, parece, ¿no? Aquí, pum. No recuerdo de que murió, pensaba que eso lo vivió todo el juego. I couldn't even play back in one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low-key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good. Fragments. Something caught my eye. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any long, the smoke would have gotten me. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was going to get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. No sé One yo, si was being held in some la... hole. The other Ahora was sitting at his desk with a tocar, bullet eh? in his head. No, and the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Shit. If I survived this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. <laughs> The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse loot and coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. That's <laughs> I'm going to go to the camera, right? 
Rodrigo or not, Fabricas Bronco is falling apart quite literally. He had bullets in his gun. He should have shot himself and ended the pain. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hell hole. No, como que que moramos todos. Y ve esto que estamos aquí, los chavales intentando caer. Y me llega yo solo y me cae yo solo. Y eran tres, eh. Pide eso para la vida. En un videojuego. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trip would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Uh, then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Uh, uh, uh. I was a mess. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well... This place was gonna kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Caraba. Literalmente yo, ¿verdad? 
Lo bueno que no estuvo well, polémico. Hubo gente a la que le pareció mal. Perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. But it was gonna have to do. Hubo gente a la que esto le pareció como un fucking legio que era para que no pegue. Facing in the right direction. Que no entiendo bien por qué es algo tan sentido. Es estar hombre hecho una mierda y como para que a veces presiones de mí me puedo hacer rapas. Es lo más normal del mundo. Como cuando te tiñes el pelo, peinado de la radio radical, es algo lo que es muy normal. Max, Max, ¿estás vivo? Claro que estoy vivo. No sabíamos esto. Nos hemos perdido, Max. Nuestro hermano fue todo para nosotros. I understand. Listen, I'm I'm sorry about your loss, both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him, I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the Crush of Prado came into the building downstairs. So, while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Get lost, kid. Speak English? Uh huh. Falo sim, sem problema. Need to know if you ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É isso. At least I found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing, walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. Oh, 
I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> Continua andando, caralho! Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá! O que você está fazendo aqui? Eu estou te perguntando. Uh, eu te chamei aqui, porra! Easy, pal, easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Uh, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Uh, ah. Desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa ah. tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Anda logo. Logo! Da puta! Valeu, mano! Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança! Agora não, fora daqui! All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Hold on, the song. And for the that lasts two minutes in the stream. There was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Furbo, ah, Furbo. Look. Toma. Oh, the new guy. Oh, the new guy. Oh, yo, 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 Não tem que dar palitinho, rapaz. Mostra? Pô, mostra. Isso, é a coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Se escolhe, eu não tenho esse palitinho. Cala, a gente vai ficar o Yuri, que é o Murilo, que tá aqui. Desculpa, olá. Fala inglês. Eu sou um pouco perdido. Perdido? Onde és tu? Tá no lugar errado, rapaz. Não compreendo. Eu preciso de um telefone. Bora. Público. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Gringo. Well, they weren't going to help me, and who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. Tá incomodado, hein? Tô rajado. Que pera, rapaz, tá vendo? It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. A lo mejor hay que juntárselo una vez antes y yo no lo he encontrado, pues no lo he cogido. Eh, pero por el hecho de que empezamos las misiones de pastilla, no me pierdo mucha confianza, ¿verdad tú? Oh, sale de encima de mí, me wow. ¿Qué ha dicho? Maluco, pues. Maluco. Maluco. Pronto, van a hacer que te lo van a banear. Ahí está. Ahí está. 
I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone, vai, lá no fundo, segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. <laughs> if I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit. It's just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Show pra mim. Ele é muito bem gelado. Tenta reportar minha água, né? Agora não é água. Agora não é água. Não, 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 não é água. Yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. They're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land. Rodrigo Branco. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing, we... Simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. Right. We had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Right, uh. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And okay. if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. Piers. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa pra mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Oh, 
Oh, you. Hijo de puta. Con la recortada. Me ha quitado mi recortada. Oculto, creo que había una... Un bull muerto En plan, que está metido bajo la cámara Ahí, deja la pobre ira. Ah, no, es un cliente Ah, está aquí la pobre Esta que estaba bailando en tele dramática ¿Tú tienes pastillas? No, no, no Y este aquí es un putero, ¿no? Yo voy a la puta de aquí nada pero bueno. Me hubiera hecho cuenta. ¿Pega es como corre? Es un gringo. Ah, no sé. No tengo porra ninguna. ¿A gente desce o no? Foda-se. Pero justo como si hubiera alguien que estuviera que estuviera hablando con tu vez. No, no vale la pena, no. Está certo. Se mata de hubiera alguien que hablara con tu vez. Yo recuerdo que esta... Fireworks display was clearly in my honor. Making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. Es esto mandala de eso, pero yo quiero recordar... I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was going to get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin joint.
puta. Vocês todos me deixam fora! Tela de balón.
Fall. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me.
¿Serio desde aquí?
sentido ninguno, tío. ¿Cómo coño me ha dado de ahí? Pero antes, el anterior, el anterior trae, me ha matado literalmente el último. Buena suerte, tenido. 
Fabiana's market value was falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. I'd have felt worse taking someone's medication if everybody in that place hadn't been trying to kill me. <laughs> Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Estoy pegando tiro a la favela. ¿Qué me lo tiene? ¿No lo he recortado? Sí, bueno, la pistola, la pistola no tiene la bala. ¡Qué tío, tío! ¡Eh, hey, tío! Escúchame, Javi, espero que esto hubiese de mí. Espero que esto hubiese de mí. Estoy jugando un juego difícil, ¿eh? Mira. Eh, ¿cómo se ve la F? Justo de juego. Espero que esté orgulloso de mí, eh. Primero de que estoy pasando un juego difícil aquí en directo. 
Para que te lo creas, para que te lo creas. Sí, sí. Ya pronto me pedí, pero, pero aquí sigo todavía. Hasta que, cuando termine este capítulo, lo dejo. Ah, vale, vale. Ah, no te rayes, oye. Tampoco va a estar todos los días en normal contigo, usted no pasa nada. De aquí vengo para que voy. No, que voy. ¿Dónde están? ¿Dónde están? Joder, puta, no te puedo pegar. No te puedo pegar. Joder, puta. Vale. I was running the risk of becoming too clear-headed. Hay que cubrirse bien. No puedo asomar los ojitos, que como asomo los ojitos te lo pegan. Los brasileños que estamos en la favela. Estamos en la favela de Sao Paulo. Tiene la mecánica de que tiene pastillones, los pastillones te curan. Y los pastillones también te dan como una segunda oportunidad. En plan, cuando te pegan un tiro mortal, antes de que te lo peguen, tienes la oportunidad, si te quedan pastillas que te curan, tienes la oportunidad de pegar tú un tiro antes que él. ¿Sabes? Te ponen cámara lenta y tienes como la mecánica de hacerlo. Y luego tú me tienes el bullet time. Y el salto con el bullet time. No, no hagas eso. Ahí, por ejemplo, me pego un tiro mortal. Pero antes de que me lo peguen, yo me he curado. O sea, me, me he protegido porque tengo pastillas. O sea, el, el, el protagonista está enganchado a los analgésicos. Y esa mecánica es lo que te lo muestro, ¿no? ¿Cómo? Oh, esto es lo que Onda. Onda, onda. Onda. Eu Barça. A cantera es valor. 
els valors Desde luego Más regalos, eh Me llevo todos los peyotes que hay aquí, yo Esto le, le tiene bien la puerta para que dinero Píntate una La puerta, píntate una Píntate una I'd seen enough. If these drugs didn't have a doctor's name on them, I wasn't interested. I mean, the the person has reaction to the fact that you're looking at him. He says, "No me interesa si no están si no tiene nombre de un médico encima, ¿eh? Porque están enganchados los analgésicos, no a la no a la droga, ah, no a la a droga de tierra, no a la boca." El valor de la puerta. Estoy que reño y te encao todo, ¿no? Fireworks. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. Ahora te hago un resumen. Ahora te hago un resumen. Para comer la cinemática, te hago un resumen. Monopolla. Ya, tú eres más pain. Eres un ex policía. Que no lo sé porque no jugó al lunes 2. Pero tu familia muere por culpa tuya. Es decir, porque te metes en lío o lo que sea como policía, pero. Mira, muere por tu culpa, entonces él está atormentado por completo. Y en este juego lo que eres es que, o sea, eres un policía, entonces lo que hace es que te metes a guardaparda. Y eres guardaparda de una familia de ricos brasileños, de los blancos. Claro, estás atormentado, hay un montón de gente que quiere matar a esa gente, que quieren secuestrarlo. Han secuestrado a la mujer de, de tu cliente, de Rodrigo Branco, que es el, el cabecilla de la empresa. Y tú estás intentando aquí en este momento, tratando de rescatarla. Porque está de contra. Y por el camino pues, han pasado cosas como que, por ejemplo, el nota que está contratado, el Rodrigo Branco, pues la han matado. plan, porque han, vinieron por ahí a, a su oficina y eso, y la han matado. Y el concepto es ese. Y ya es, o sea, ya en plan, esto lo estás tú por orgullo, porque ya tu jefe ha muerto, entonces tú ya no tienes ninguna obligación de hacer lo que estás haciendo. Pero lo hace ya por orgullo, porque no quiere que también esté en la sangre de, de esa mujer en sus manos, ¿sabes? También la quiero rescatar por eso. Y básicamente el contexto es eso. Eres un ex policía, guarda, que ahora eres guardaparda. Y está... No, ya no te van a parar, pero este es de guardinero. Y está... Esas otras están enganchadas al arco. Están enganchadas al whisky. Y a las pastillas, a los analgésicos, a las pastillas para dolor. Y... Y nada. Ha decidido, en, después de que muriera su jefe, de que se da cuenta de que ha fallado su trabajo, ha decidido dejar al arco para, porque saben que van a por ahí, que lo quieren matar. Y dice, si me matan, por lo menos que yo me venir y me pegue el tiro. En plan de, quiero, quiero estar sobrio cuando me monte. Entonces ha dejado al arco, pero la pastilla. Y la de tener el contexto que te ha pasado. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. <laughs> it wasn't like he wasn't expecting. <laughs> Que no le va. Y hermano. Y el AK, coge el puto AK, ¿qué haces? A ver, que me mate. Un queñe de puto. Pero la cosa es que está intentando redimirse antes de morir. Entonces está intentando salvar a la chavala. Cuando morís, ¿sabes? 
tengo ni idea. ¿Qué? Y mis cinco pastillas. Ah, vale, es que me, me he quemado. Mi hermano. Que no tengo aquí ningún tipo de cobertura. Me estoy reventando. Que no quiero hacer... ¿Qué hice lo de Kabuk como un cabeza de bola? ¿Es un personaje del LOL? ¿O de qué? I had to hope the king was in his castle. ¡A carajo! Para la galera, As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Sí, and I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you Okay. Esta era. Esta era la mujer que estamos subiendo la capa. Ves que esa es la cosa está en la espiral. Yo no he visto una no de era, ¿verdad? Esto es justo más sencillo y poco más. Esta es la cosa que no toma una espiral en la que nada sale bien. O sea, es policía, mueren. Mira, muere por tu culpa. Eres guardaespaldas y muere tu cliente y muere tu mujer. O sea, como que nada te sale bien. Capítulo 8. Es el único que puedo hacer. Pero ya son las 20 de la mañana. Pero ahora ella había sido muerta más tiempo que yo la conocía. Aún no había realmente olvidado por el motivo de la empresa. Pero sabía que eso era solo la gracia. La insanidad que viene con perder la vida que has construido. Michelle... I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. La niña con cuatro meses. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. Esta es otra cosa que... Que no tengo todavía retirado. Eh... Un día que estamos que estamos enganchados a, a la arco y eso. <ríe> Me mal. Y en nota, pues estaba un día y me vino en un bar y llegó eh, el hijo de un mafioso, porque es de Nueva Jersey, un hijo de un mafioso, la gente es el chul, apuntando una pistola, la gente es el guay, y lo matas. ¿Sabes? Te amenaza con matarte y lo matas tú antes. Entonces, el mafioso más importante de la ciudad te quiere muerto, entonces. El, es el motivo también por el que tú aceptas el trabajo de irte fuera, de irte por así, ¿sabes? Eso faltaba por picarte que no me he guardado. Y ya está. Vamos a dejarlo para el próximo día, que yo son. Yo me llegué 4 y media, 4 y 20. Y sueño a las 2 y pico y tengo sueño. Así que. 
seguiremos mañana o pasado, no sé cuándo coño seguiremos, pero seguiremos en otro momento. Y otra cosa también pasa, o sea, creo que en el, el Map Pay 2, en el juego este antiguo, creo que hay una misión que es como. que es como dentro de una pesadilla de Max, porque está todo tormentado, porque su hija ha muerto por su culpa. Y es como que. Él va por un pasillo oscuro y va escuchando como un bebé llorando, es una puta paranoia. En plan, ese juego yo no lo vi jugar ya porque han envejecido muy mal, ese juego de del 90 y pico, de 2000 y poco, ese juego que han envejecido muy mal y no lo vi jugar. Pero estaría curioso, en plan, me quiero ver los vídeos, me quiero ver cómo es el juego. Pero yo no me he con Becky, yo cuando se lo he pasado y que lo recuerdo como uno de sus mejores experiencias en un videojuego, no me da mucho ganas de jugarlo, la verdad. Pero si hemos hecho y también lo fue no paraban de decirme que iba a ir al infierno. Parece que había llegado antes de tiempo. Pero se ve que no podía dejarlo todo. Ahí me estoy Si digo esto, significa que no quiero hacer el juego, exactamente. Aquí estamos de nuevo. Liberando una guerra que era la, la mía por unos motivos que no entendía. Ya no me quedaba nada que hacer aquí. Oh, pero no podía volver atrás ahora. Como que. Todo es muy cinemático, ¿sabes? Estoy bien, no me sobreviví. Tengo bastante gente. Puta, que no te voy me voy, coño, mañana os digo. No me rayéis. Y nada, eh, aquí. Bueno, somos dos, somos tú y yo nomás. No vamos a cerrar ahí. Tontería, digo, voy a decir alguien más, pero no. Estamos tú y yo nomás. Así que nada. Eh, nos vemos, Javier. Yo que. Hoy es viernes, ¿no? Tú lo domingo viene para acá. Bueno, ya hablamos. Ya me contará. Gus Nikeyu. Me hicieron pasar tu cajartilla nomás. No te orgullo por no ver esto antes, que no pasa nada. Que es. Que chalo, iba a cortar el directo con el rodado este, ¿sabes? en vez de con el que. Con el que. Bueno, que yo. Hablamos.